Right guys, so this is the path over to the Quaker burial ground over there and I've had to trek my way through all of this and I'll be trekking all the way through there right up around to that avoiding all these beautiful plants I'm not sure what they are but uh, yeah it's warm today basically in the middle of farming field and it's new garden Quaker burial ground and I think that is the entrance there you can see the little red brick wall so come with me and we'll have a look found it and it's definitely the red brick like on the photo online and yeah there's the gate this is basically what we found and if I can get through here it'd be great oh lord This is so sad. Now, we could even make a date out. There's something there. 1838 is what I see. And. I've just used the torch there and unfortunately my torch is on my phone but it does say Mary O'Brien and it was 1833 and it said she was 13 years the one and the three in the years this place is totally overgrown and I don't know if there's any more And oh, we have another one here. So, this is Isabella, dearly loved wife of. Is it Charles? Hmm, Charles Mitchell, I think it is. Carlo died 29th of. Mm, the tenth month maybe 1872 and that's Isabella so this would have been the entrance gate and as you can see the headstone there and we've discovered one in here as well oh, ouch make me way in And uh, a gunshot cartilage, never a good sign when you're in the middle of nowhere. So this is James Morris, who died the 22nd day of the 11th month, 1886, aged 78 years. Them also, which sleep in... No, I can't make it out. But that's James Morris. Even though it looks like it's forgotten, we haven't forgotten James. Right guys, I haven't been able to get through anymore. But the few graves, the headstones that we found and named, gone but not forgotten. And I'm going to try and make my way back out onto the farmer's land.
and as you can see it is definitely a built up burial ground but it's just totally overgrown so we've just left new garden quaker burial ground and i've drove into Balator and this is another quaker burial ground so i'm hoping this is not overgrown uh, like the last one there seems to be some kind of a pathway down into it so let's find out right so this has led me into a lovely field I don't see any headstones yet but I'm going to walk up along here there seems to be a path along through the flowers and we'll see what's up around here then it's a gorgeous meadow just look at that isn't it just stunning beautiful summer's day and I'm going to walk down along here I can't seem to find it at the moment um, for some reason these Quaker burials seem to be very well hidden but oh that looks like a, the entrance I can get through the brambles. Right, this definitely looks like the entrance. Okay, and there's the gate. And inside, I can see some headstones. So we'll go back this way. I'm going through here. have a, a little look it's quite overgrown again but so much better the new gardens Quaker burial ground and I've just spotted here to my right in along by the wall five headstones And that's definitely O'Neill. Now we have, no, it's very hard to read. Is it Rebecca O'Neill? And I don't see a date, unfortunately. Hold on now. 18. 86 or 80, 88, maybe. So that's Rebecca O'Neill. Now, <clears throat> and this one is 1876, and we have James O'Neill, the 26th day of is it the fifth month and definitely 1876 so that's James I think this one is William O'Neill and he died the 29th day of the fourth month 1879 aged 40 no maybe 84 years of age so that's William O'Neill so obviously this is an O'Neill plot, plot sorry and this is Henry Henry O'Neill and Henry died the 26th day of the oh, it's very hard to read that um, 12th month and the date is down here actually and it's 1888 
and then the final headstone here and it's very hard to read and I think it is O'Neill again but unfortunately it's very hard to very hard to read there's a date there 1880 Eight, I think. It right, is. so as we make our way up along in the thick grass, we have Thomas Edward, and Thomas was the son of Thomas. Can't make it that unfortunately he died, possibly the twenty fourth of, and I think that's the date here. No aged. 80 something maybe but I can't see that was possibly the date the 1870 no 1876 it looks like so that's Thomas Edward and then we have Thomas I think it is Webb or Edward Edward Webb and Edward was 63, but I can't, oh, in 1881, he died in 1881. And this is Webb again. And I think that's 18, 80. One possibly. And this one, last in the row, looks like Webb again, and is it John Herbert? And John died in 1906. And that's just a row of them there. This is Deborah Chan Lee, and there's the date there, 1911. And she was 85 years old. And this is Thomas. And I'm thinking that's probably Chan Lee as well. And it was. 1907 there and he was 82 quite big ages and here's Samuel Chanley and he died in 1903 aged 71 years sixth month in 1903 And we have another Chandley here. I think it's Jane Chandley. And she died the 27th day of oh, I can't see the month. Is it the fifth month possibly? In the 1900s and her age. It's very hard to read. It's all under the moss. That's seven, and that's a zero, I think, for 70 years. So this, this is Mary Chandley. And to me, that looks like 
25 maybe and there's no age for Mary oh no 84 years old wow so 1923 I think and she was 85 or 84 years old now I know by the next one it's completely taken over so it's very hard it's John Chandley anyway so obviously this row is the Chandleys and I believe that it says 1875 and I can't see an age unfortunately but 1875 and now we have I think it's Richard Chandley again and Richard died in 1891 and Richard was 58 years old Next we have Rebecca Harvey Chandley and The 23rd day of the 8th month and that's 1869 and she was 20 six years old so Rebecca and this is Elizabeth and Elizabeth died the 10th month the 30th of the 10th month 1885 and that was she was 83 years of age and I think the surname here is Barrington so Elizabeth Barrington and it's actually 1886 and she was 83 years old and here we have Sarah Barrington and she died the fourth day of the eighth month 1878 and she was 80 years old so we have Barrington's and Chandley's and O'Neill's around the front. Now we've one more here. I want to make my way over. And it's extremely overgrown and all on its own. No. Ah, this is Cole and it looks like Eleanor Cole and Eleanor died in 1903 I think it is and I think Eleanor was either 31 or 71 I'm not sure but I think it's 71 and Eleanor is all on her own here. Oh no, actually, Eleanor is not on her own because I think that is a headstone underneath right. all of that. So I've managed to clear off some of the ivy and this is Elizabeth Cole. And Elizabeth died in 18... I think it's 76. And she was, I think it's 84 years of age. So Elizabeth... and Eleanor Cole. And there's the headstones that we've seen on our way in that time. And they were O'Neill's. Okay, so this caught my eye. So I'm just making my way up. Ouch! <laughs> there is brambles, thistles, oh torn sorry guys it's not very easy to get to oh and that's actually more of a, a shaped one but unfortunately I don't see anything on that side right so we've come around this side of it and you can see the shape is completely different to the normal Quaker headstones and I believe I found a date and I think it's 1743 guys but unfortunately 
that says the body, but the name is totally, totally gone. There's an A and a B there. Yeah, no, we're not going to see this, I don't think. But there's the date, 1743. Right, so unfortunately those headstones, you can't read it all. But this one is Sarah Shacklett. And Sarah, I think, was 74 and died in 1910 or, yeah, 1910, I think it is. So Sarah Shacklett. Oh, here's a different type of headstone and it's Mary Rebecca Shacklett. And I think that's the date of her death and it looks like either 1815 or 1915 but it's, I'd say it is 1815 and the rest of it is just too hard to read and as I turn around there's actually a marker on the the ground here and possibly a headstone in there and possibly lots more in amongst that. Right, so behind all of these, near to the back, we have Elizabeth Shackleton. And Elizabeth died the ninth day of, could be the third month, 1847. And she was aged 60 years. And this is quite a large burial ground and possibly a lot more headstones underneath all that grass and brambles and including this one beside my foot that just can't be read. Right guys, so with that I'm going to head back and I shall talk to you soon. God bless.